Welcome back to 90 Second Philosophy with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing our series on thought experiments in ethics with the fat villain trolley problem. If you haven't checked out the original trolley problem or the fat man trolley problem, you should do that now. The fat villain trolley problem is basically the same as the fat man trolley problem. You have a trolley hurtling down some tracks at five people. You're standing up on a bridge above those tracks, and you have the possibility of pushing a fat man onto the tracks. The difference is, in this case, the fat man that you would push onto the tracks that would save the five people with his girth is in fact the very villain that set up this ridiculous scheme in the first place that trapped the five people on the tracks and set the trolley hurtling down those tracks. It seems to many of us in this case that it would be imperative to push the fat man onto the tracks, and it would in fact be quite poetic justice. However, the original question still remains, is it better to kill one person or let five people die? The utilitarian is still going to answer it's better to kill one. The deontologist, even though the fat man is now very guilty, will still say let five people die because it's always wrong to kill. And our intuition, it seems in this case, will say it's better to kill one because it was his fault the whole problem started in the first place. That was the fat villain trolley problem. Next up is the loop trolley problem, followed by the man in the yard trolley problem, followed by the organ donor trolley problem, and we'll finish up with a reading of Can Bad Men Make Good Brains Do Bad Things? Watch this video and more at carneades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.